Hello everybody, um, Sunday morning, it's, um, the sun's nearly out at the moment, which is quite good, but we've had some horrendous weather and it's been pouring with rain and blowing a gale and I've no idea why they named that gale after a woman, but uh, <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Yeah, so um, update time really, how are we getting on with the 35? It's... Um, all I can say is it's progressive. <laughs> never again, never again. But uh, anyway, let me uh, show you where we've got to. Right, so Saturday morning, Ian's here, all tilled up, ready to go. Um, just clean the head up on the 35, so it's ready to put on, and that's the next mission then. So, uh, that should be good to go, to catch any problems, but what we did find was under there, when we put it back on its wheels, we had a, a leak, which has obviously come from the gearbox, so we don't know what we've uh, upset. So we have got to pull this engine back out again, but today we're going to put the engine together, and uh, whether we'll get far enough to actually see some smoke coming out, I don't know, that's the intention, it shouldn't really take long, because we're, we're set up for it. I've got a load of bits come from Agrilon. Look across the door. Oh, Christ, your head's reflecting back on this camera. <laughs> so there's foot plates, seat, seat brackets, um, all the bits really that I'm missing. The only thing I didn't order, because I didn't know I needed at the time, was the seal for the gearbox. But that's coming, and we might see it today. It's coming by post but it's um, second class delivery. So uh, we'll see how we go from there. That's the bulk of the lumps. We worry too much, that's what gaskets are for. I think we'll need a thicker gasket. <laughs> no, it's looking really lovely here. As long as you don't piss water out, I'll be happy. That'll be alright. Positive vibes, we want positive vibes here today. Right, so the next mission was to put the head on, which um, should have been, well, not should have been, it was quite straightforward. And uh, it's because it's been sat for a long time, but I didn't want to pull it apart to clean it up again because everything looked okay. So we just made sure the valves were weren't stuck in the guides or anything like that. Um, we found all the all the head bolts, all the studs we needed, found out where they'd got to go, and um, that was the next stage, really. So that's where we get to now. I'll show you where we are. Right, a bit more progress. We've got the head on now. All the valves going up down where they should be. Um, inlet manifolds on. Not bolted up yet, but it's nearly there. We've got the injector pump on. Can you see that? No, we haven't. You take it off. What are you done with it? Eh? Where's the injector pump gone? Didn't like the way it, the way it looked. Oh, Ian didn't like it. Thought it looked nicer without it. He didn't like it. That's a good reason. But it's been a tale of uh, <laughs> two steps forward, one step back today, isn't it? That's that. We're getting there. We are getting there. The good news is we're running the bolts and we're finding homes for them. The bad news is we're short of some. But uh, considering what we started with, I think that's pretty good. Anyway, the bits that count are there, so I think we, we will get there. Whether it'll be today or not, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We'll see. 20, 20 to four. <laughs> if, we, if we pulled this tractor to pieces, we'd have been back to this stage by dinner time easily. Three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, that could be it too. Anyway, you live and learn. It's a, we get a bit of information, a nice bit of information from a 
gentleman up at Barnstable, he gave me a call last Sunday and uh, pointed out a few tips to me. Um, I'm thinking of sending him some petrol money so he can come and see us. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, where we are for now. Hopefully we'll have, we might, might have some smoke flying later on, we'll see. So that's it for now. Okay, so we've got the head on and uh, really we were, we were motoring then. <laughs> thought, yeah, we're going to have some smoke out of this later on. And then I tried the starter and the solenoid wasn't work. So I had to find a solenoid and we put that on, got that ready to go. Okay, bolt the starter on. Couldn't find the bolts. And, you know, you you can't do it without the bolts. And I looked everywhere, couldn't find these damn bolts. So uh, that was sort of holding us up a bit, but you still keep going keep going and um we got we got various bits to do and it, it got it got to the point where i gotta i gotta find some more bits a lot more bits so we'd spend a lot of time looking for bits anyway it, although there was an awful lot of nuts and bolts with the tractor when i bought it um and we've used most of them there's not many spare ones there um, but you never know when you know when you've bought it from somebody and it's in boxes and it um, you know did they bring an extra box you don't know what what was in there there's a few pieces we just cannot recognise and it it doesn't matter we'll we'll make it fit the the main parts are there or we can we can see easily what's missing and um, I've replaced most of those so you know I, I'll show you where we've got to and. and yeah, that'll, that'll do for now. Right, a little bit more progress. Not as much as we hoped, but uh, there we are. So we've got the manifold on, uh, inlet manifold's on, injector pump is actually laid on the seat, but that's not uh, for any reason, other than it's off for a minute to sort things out. Just putting the water pump on. We spent half our day, I ain't kidding, looking for nuts and bolts which we know we've got, but trying to identify where they go. Definitely designed by a Nuffield engineer. Ian's, look at him, grumpy as hell. <laughs> no, we were, we were going to try and start it, and we probably could have done, but it's one of those things, and I've just said, no, we'll leave it. We haven't got a lot left to do. Next session will be try and get some smoke out of it. But today hasn't been right. And it is raining like you wouldn't believe at the moment. So there you go. End of the perfect day. Okay, so we got the head on, and uh, really we were we were motoring. Then <laughs> thought, yeah, we're going to have some smoke out of this later on. And then I tried the starter, and the solenoid wasn't work. So I had to find a solenoid, and we put that on, got that ready to go. Okay, bolt the starter on couldn't find the bolts and you know you you can't do it without the bolts and I looked everywhere couldn't find these damn bolts so uh, that was sort of holding us up a bit but you still keep going keep going and um, we got we got various bits to do and it, it got it got to the point where I got to I got to find some more bits a lot more bits so we'd spend a lot of time looking for bits anyway it, although there was an awful lot of nuts and bolts with the tractor when I bought it, um, and we've used most of them. There's not many spare ones there, um, but you never know when you know when you've bought it from somebody and it's in boxes and it, um, you know, did they bring an extra box? You don't know what what was in there. There's a few pieces we just cannot recognise, and it, it doesn't matter. We'll we'll make it fit. The, the main parts are there, or we can we can see easily what's missing, and um, I've replaced most of those. So, you know, I, I'll show you where we've got to, and, and yeah, that'll, that'll do for now. Well, here we are, Sunday morning now. Um, very windy outside still, but at least it's not raining for five minutes. So I thought I'd come up and just put a few more bits on the Fergie. Um, not necessarily engine bits, but still sorted out. The main thing we're missing is nuts and bolts, and that's what I've been trying to find this morning. 
that that engine is basically a T20 engine. Um, we've luckily we've got a scrap one here, so I've been able to rob a few bits off that. That manifold and exhaust pipe is straight off the T20. Um, the manifold on the 35 was okay, but that one was bolted to the thing, and it's exactly the same. So that's the one that's gone on. Put the water pumps on, and everything's on there now. I can't find the right bolts to put in the front there to, to put that bit on, but that's not the end of the world. We can certainly start it without that. So the, the pump's ready to put on. Starter, I'm storming on bolts for that. That's another thing I can't find, but I will get it. But the thing that I really wanted to get my head around was the battery tray because something just didn't ring true. I bought a, a brand new one off of um, Agrivon because it was less than 50 quid and I thought we can never make one for that money. But then it just didn't seem right to me. And when I looked at the old one, which is back here, which is in a pretty ropey state, I thought, well, there's, there's no way that's the same. And then of course you scratch your head and wonder what you're doing with it. And then I suddenly thought, T20. And that's a T21, and it bolts down on the axle down there, and they have usually one each side. You used to have two six volt batteries, most of them are down to one 12 volt now because batteries are better. But uh, so that's, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a waste of time, we'll probably use it on something one day, but uh, for the time being, it's certainly not going on this. And because I've seen that and got my head around this a bit more, I think we can repair that one fairly cheaply. So my mission today, I was going to get the mud guards out and, and fit those and just fit the foot plates, get everything fitted loosely. But since it's a it's an ongoing thing, you can't really have a plan with these things, you think you have it. So what I'm going to do now is take the mud guards, I'll get them sandblasted first rather than second. We've got new foot plates to go on anyway, and then we can make those fit. There's a bit of repair to do, but that will be done. Um, and I'll get that battery box, battery tray, get that sandblasted so we can see what we've got. The wheels, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but I have got some new ones. And there's a pair of new ones there. They have, they've been on before, but uh, they've both actually got a slow puncher, so get those sorted out. So those will be the wheels that are going on. Back wheels, depends how good it turns out. But I've got some T20s worth a lot less than this. They've got much better tyres, so I may do a swap around. So I've put the seat on properly now. Um, another, nothing, nothing wrong with the quality, but there's some holes there in the wrong place. So to hold that seat, the foam rubber bit in place, got to put some more holes in that. But you know, generally, this is one of these things. Everybody moans about Agriline bits not fitting, but actually, you try and buy it somewhere else. Then a little bit of modification is a lot easier than repairing. I'll put the bushes in the front axle, so that's now uh, non-wobbly, and steering feels quite good, actually. So that's where we are at the moment. I don't expect for a minute I should get back onto it this week. Um, we'll see where we are. If I can get, I will try and get the sand blasted out there. But generally, she's looking pretty good. I need a new steering wheel. Didn't think about that when I was ordering. But, you know, it's all right so far. We're on budget because we're in a budget. <laughs> all right, so that's that for now. We'll um, see you next week. So there we are, 35, another week, the thing's not running. But uh, we've we've had the pump on. We know, we, we're pretty sure we've got it time right. Um, well, the reason we took it off again was because there was a bit of slack there we weren't, weren't really happy with, but we've satisfied ourselves that what we've got is correct. We've got um, injector pipes to put back on, injectors, um, what I wanted to do f was give it a spin over first before we actually put the injectors in, get it low compression and make sure everything was doing what it should do. So they're there. Um, I bought some new 
tips for the injectors they're all fitted in so and they're all good so really there's no reason why the tractor won't start if um, if the weather hadn't been so horrendous yesterday yesterday we would probably have just got outside and um, given it a little tow just to make sure it turned over and you could see everything squirting at the right places but it wasn't it was horrible so so that's as far as we got um i will go on and do the get the sandblasting done now it might mean there's a hiccup <laughs> you know we we tend to do these projects and um it's very rare we actually go on and finish it completely and you know some some wouldn't be able to wait they just get into it but i found that if you uh if you delay it a bit and not ridiculous amount of time but if you do so much to it and then you do a bit of thinking time and you do have to think about it and usually you can come up with something that's a bit better so that's why we have done no more to the six cylinder major the main reason for stopping that is because i haven't had the sump cut yet but uh, when I take the pieces out to go for the sandblast, and I will take a sump with me, I will get it square cut, and uh, in theory, we can progress again. In practice, though, we probably won't, because the boys that can weld a lot better than me are out on site next, well, not next week, but it will be the week after. So they won't be able to weld it. And I, I, I could... I used to be able to weld well. I can't see now. It's, um, it's damn glasses. It just don't, don't work. So, one of those things. Pleasure of getting older, I suppose. So, so that's where the Fergus got for now. Um, the Major's sat next door. That one's ready to go. The, the four-wheel drive roadless is outside now because we've had to make a bit of shed room to put some sheep in. Um, so it's, it's all shuffle at the moment, but you know we will get these things done, and um, and I think it makes it a bit more interesting when you can go on to other things. And <laughs> this is a good prompt actually to move on to another project I've started. So I'll just show you this. This is this is something completely different, but I've got some ideas on it, so we'll see see where we go. So this is this is your introduction. I won't tell you too much about it, but you'll probably guess it. Right, so this is what was left after we had our fire. Um, we think the cause of the fire was actually the battery charger, but it uh, caught the mower alight and we could so easily have lost the shed and everything, but uh, I guess we were lucky. So the mower was the biggest casualty. There was a few uh, bits and pieces and a lot of a lot of soot and mess, but uh, you get over that. But it's always annoyed me that uh, we lost this mower because although it was, I think the last ones of these were made in 1990, 1996, so it's coming on for 30 years old, um, it was an excellent mower. I just had it drive, go anywhere, and I've had that mower, well, probably, certainly 15 years. And its companion, which I'll show you in a minute, I've had even longer, probably well over 20 years. Um, so it, it's good. Now, that, it, the, it wasn't covered by insurance. Um, and I would sort of, yeah, well, I won't say I was, wasn't worried about it. We've got another marrow, much bigger, which does all the work, but this one's handy for small places. So I had a look around to see what evaluation was really for insurance, not knowing that it wasn't covered. And I uh, was quite surprised how much it's still worth. So it, it annoyed me even more then. Anyway, that's what we've got. Um, I had, in the last 12 months, I had another mower and I picked the best of the tin work off it and made that into quite a nice machine. All the deck was really good. And so it's, um, you know, it's really annoying that we've, we've lost it. But anyway, we'll have, have a quick look around, just see. The funny thing was all the heat we had, the front tires, 
roof remained up and inflated. The, well, the heat must have been on the other side because the deck still got its paint here, but that's the only paint that's left on it. Everything else is just burnt right out. So what do you do? <laughs> Clearly, you know, that is a write-off. But look at, do a look at what we've got over here. So this is number two. This is um, the mower that I have had for well over 20 years. And uh, it's always worked, but it was never quite as good as the... But when I bought had the chance of the other one, which was much tidier, I bought that, well, it was done on a deal. I didn't actually part with any money. I part with some timber. So had this one and uh, it was all working, but I then got three mowers. And in actual fact, I had another one, which I, which I sold. It wasn't a Honda. So this one's identical to the one that was burnt out. Um, looks a bit shabby there, but uh, I think that will still go. And we'll, I might be proved wrong, but uh, there we go. So that's number two. And then this one, which you're not going to, be able to see very well there, when it's in a better light. This was number three. Now, this one um, I pulled out of a scrap heap. It, uh, the engine was gone, there was no engine with it, but the tin work on it was very good. So that's what I stripped down to make number one mower much better. So the old tin work is still there. Never throw anything away, Dave. And hopefully, um, well, I'm gonna have a mess about today, see if I can find, see what bits we've got. But I think that mower will go again. I'll have a, Look at the tin work that's burnt out, but I think that was, you know, it's still there. It's, yeah, paint's gone off it. So um, we'll have a little pick and mix again and see if we can resurrect it. Just for old time's sake, really. So uh, that's a project. <laughs> so <laughs> there we are. Um, another one to work on. Most people think I'm balmy doing that, but. Uh, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? The, the nice thing about that is the kids can drive it, and because it's hydrostatic drive, it's it, it's a it is a cracking mower. Um, I would have said that was the Rolls Royce in its day. Uh, it's a, it's a two cylinder Honda engine, never fails to start. Um, hydrostatic drive, the two deck on it, and when I or the one that's um, not the one that's burnt out, the one that's on the pallet. I mean. I really tortured that, some of the stuff that I cut with it when I first had it. It was um, unbelievable what it would go through. But, uh, you know, it's only easier life since you've had the big mower and, you know, might only bring it out twice a year, but at least you can get into those places that, that you can't get with the big mower. And um, as I say, the kids like driving it around. Um, you know, I've got pictures going back, Harry driving it and different ones on it. They, they learn the basics, and I think it's good to start small. I see so many people stick a little kid on a big tractor and, you know, oh, this is my boy, look at him, he's driving this tractor, and there's no way he's under control. And, um, you know, I, they think I'm a, what's the word they call me? A, uh, I can't remember what it is now, but quite offensive because... I am aware of the safety and, uh, you know, I, I like to get kids on tractors and I think it's a mistake not letting them go near them, but they've got to be safe. And anybody that puts a kid that's uh, not really big enough to manage a tractor out in the field is nuts. It's, uh, yeah, it's great until you they fall off and run themselves over or do something like that and you've got to go and tell their mother you just killed their child and... Um, you know, that ain't gonna happen, or not here anyway. So, um, you know, <laughs> serious Dave. Right, I, um, I that's all I'm gonna leave you for now. I've, I have done a bit more to that um, lawnmower, to be honest, but um, I think I'll leave that like another episode. It'll, it's, it's certainly not gonna interest you much as the tractors, but it's a nice little piece to put on the end. So that's me done for now. Um, 
thank you very much for watching it watching watching <laughs> thank you very much for watching if you've got this far don't forget to press all the buttons the like subscribe and thumbs up and and all that the, the my numbers are slowly going up but um i've got a long way to go before i catch ollie blogs and and uh, some of the others but you know i enjoy doing it i hope you enjoy watching it and um if you don't don't switch on <laughs> okay so that's me done then see you hopefully we'll have some up for you next week bye then cheers